I don't like to waste glass using it as a tool. Just a personal preference. Heaven knows I've, I've made my share of mirrors with glass tools, including a current 12 and a half inch project that I'm, that I'm working on. Now I've just checked, I'm wrapping this dam around the blank just, just for size. It looks good. Takes a little backing off of the scotch tape. It's a brand new roll of scotch tape. I went to the store last night. I bought some uh, tape and some some tape and some Vaseline. Sort of concerned everybody. Why is he going to the store and buying tape and Vaseline? They're not telescope makers. Take a little off the end because I just contaminated that. Went a little too far. Put this piece on the outside of the dam. There we go. Wrap it around. There we go. Okay. Put a little more tape on, hold it solid. Put a little more tape on, hold it solid. And now I've got a substrate in which I can pour my dental stone tool. I'm going to put this aside over on top of the electric oven for right now. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the scale. And this scale I bought online, it's a uh, nice little 15-pound uh, uh, scale. It works pretty well for my purposes. Turn it on, let it calibrate down to zero with the bucket in it. That's my tear weight. And for a seven inch tool, I want about three and a quarter, three and a half pounds of dental stone. You can buy dental stone online. I bought it from a plaster supply. That's plaster-supply.com. I forget what I paid for it, but it sure wasn't a lot. Uh, I think the shipping at 25 pounds was probably more than the product itself, although I could be slightly off on that. And this is a 7500 PSI compressive strength uh, dental stone. The uh, set time in minutes is uh, 7 to 10 minutes. And the mix ratio by weight per 100 parts of plaster is about uh, 40 to 42 parts of water per 100 parts of plaster. Those, uh, those are not really critical dimensions. I'm going to take out my measuring cup. Put in a little dental stone. Pour it into the scale. There's a pound. Let's see, there's about 40 ounces. Which is roughly two pounds, eight and a half ounces. Take a little more. All right, 3.6 pounds. 
Sounds good to me. And if we're looking at 3.6 pounds, one point five four one kilograms fifty four ounces and we want about forty percent of that by weight for water we're going to want about twenty ounces of water in here now I'm just going to put the dental stone into my bucket Put that aside. And I'm going to rinse out my measuring cup, my uh, measuring uh, bucket rather, get all the dental stone off the inside of it. Here comes trouble. Here comes Fortunato. Dry out the interior of my bucket to make sure the dental stone is off so it doesn't set up in here because that stuff, once it sets up, boy, it is, it is really in there. And you've got a problem. Put this back on top of the scale my tear to zero. Let's take some water. And again, I'm going not water by volume, but water by weight. Pour in the water. Yeah, about 23 ounces. That's just about fine. Rinse out my measuring cup. Dry it out because I don't want any problems. And I'm pretty much done with my measuring cup right now. Now things are about to start happening pretty quickly. 